Hey yo, what's it? Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and styling. My name is Tulu, your fashion consultant. And today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to dress like Trevor Noah. So what's gonna happen in this video is uh, I'm gonna break down a few different styles that you guys can take away from this style so you guys can implement it into your wardrobe and elevate your game to the next level. Let's go. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing down below. Hit that thumbs up on this video. Also, check out arcway.com because I'll be dropping blogs, posts, and also exclusive content right to your email. So, let's get it. So one thing I noticed about Trevor Noah is that he likes to keep it really simple and conservative with his wardrobe. So there's many ways to do this. I have personally have many friends that like to be conservative with their style. They're not too flamboyant. They want to show off too much. They want something that's clean cut and to the point. And Trevor Noah is a great example of that. For people like that around the world, this is a great video for you. So we're gonna be looking at three different aspects here. First, we're gonna be looking at his street casual style, and then we're gonna be looking at his business suit, and then business casual. So this can be adaptable for any type of occasion. It depends on where you're going. Obviously, you gotta dress for the occasion, but overall, with this wardrobe, you could do many things with it. So this is Trevor Noah on the streets. Simple white t-shirt, cargos. I reviewed cargos many times before. I talked about cargos many times and they are adaptable for spring and summer. Very light, very loose, and very comfortable. So this will definitely be considered a street style that you guys can rock. So it looks like he has some Adidas shoes there. So this outfit is very simple, something that anyone can really wear for a one. And this is perfect for the simple man. If you're looking for the best t-shirts, I have made a videos in the past about best t-shirts I personally recommend. So you can check the link down below for that also I made an article on cargos as well so check the link as well one thing I do like about this fit is that it's functional you want functionality when you're going out you want something with a lot of zippers you want something with a lot of pockets because you never know what's gonna happen you go on, you want to have your wallet you want to have your keys you never know what you're gonna buy at the same time it's just something that's light and breathable and also with cargo sometimes you can make it into shorts or capris based on if there's zips around the legging one thing I do recommend is when you guys purchase cargos is get something in the neutral tone colors, the blacks, the grays. That way you can be more adaptable and versatile with your fits. At the same time, it's a little more subtle. So here's another street casual look that I really do like on him. So as you guys can see, he has this velvet jean jacket-ish jacket on, and then he has a sweater underneath, and then he has a pair of uh, blue jeans as well. And then he has um, Chelsea boots to top that off with. So this is something that's very subtle. You can tell by the color coordination that is really dark tones. It's very laid back, some simple, but at the same time sophisticated. Black is a great color for luxury and sophistication, if you didn't know. So this is a great image if you're going out for date nights, if you're going out and about in town, but you want to be a little more casual and still want to be a little bit stylish. I recommend this fit. So here's another example of that same fit, but this one he kind of changed it up a little bit, maybe a little more for the day, a little more pop culture and involved in this one right here. As you guys can see, he's wearing the Jordans on his feet, but essentially the same style of fit. This, so this one's a little more different. I'll say this is a little more bold for Trevor Noah, but he does have some Jordans on his feet. Uh, it has a great compliment to the whole fit because it is a white pair of shoes, so they do stand out. For someone who likes to be a little subtle, and then he has some blue jeans. Um, I think these are like some like Japanese denim dyed jeans because they're really, really, they're really dark on a navy. And sometimes you can tell by the construction of the jeans that they are made in certain areas. For example, Naked and Famous has great construction jeans, Japanese denim, and they have this like this really stiff look to it. Um, I can't explain it by visually talking about it. It's something that you actually have to touch and feel with their jeans, but also with what I'm looking at, it could look like this is something from Levi's where it's a little bit uh, functional and a little more practical for the day-to-day -day person. I personally don't like jeans a lot, but when I do, I prefer Zara jeans. So when it comes down to a sweater, he's wearing long sleeve sweater. This could be a cashmere, this could be a cotton. Uh, just based off the atmosphere, it looks like it's a little bit of a cold temperature. So he's probably wearing a cashmere or maybe like a high-end cotton. Can I just talk about Trevor Noah's hair for a second? I think growing up your hair is a key indication of individual, indiv I can't even say that word, individuality, but at the same time, it's identifying who you are as a person, whether that be your facial hair or how you wear your hair in many different styles. So that's pretty dope. Ever since the pandemic, he started growing on his hair and it's a great look for him. All right, so for this last fit, he's wearing an Adidas varsity jacket at a ball game. And as you guys can see, it has that, it has that sportsmanship 
uh, vibe to it. I don't know if that makes sense, but for example, when you go to a ball game or you go to a football game, wearing something like this is appropriate for those type of events. So wearing, I'm not sure what watch he's wearing, but it looks like a Rolex, but you want to wear a watch like that that stands out, but it's very subtle. So a lot of guys out there can definitely adapt this style and apply it into your wardrobe. Sometimes you might want to wear some glasses, sometimes you may not, but it depends on your personal style yet again. I talked about shades before and as you enter into the spring and summer, there's various collections that you guys can apply into your own wardrobe or into your own accessories to enhance your whole look. Whether that be a clear frame on the shades or it's something with a little bit of color. I think adding a little color to your own outfit adds a little bit of spice to it, but at the same time, you can still be subtle with certain color tones. All right, so for the next segment here, we're going to be talking about suits. Suits is a great way to look enticing, but at the same time, especially when it comes down to business, professional environments, especially when it comes down to business settings, you want to set the tone for your audience or for the person in front of you. So when it comes down to Trevor Noah, he executes that precisely, especially when he does his show, the Trevor Noah show that you guys have probably seen before. So let's run through a few looks that I personally like, and I'll tell you guys my opinions and how you guys can change it and elevate to your own game. So when it guys come down to suits, you do want to pick up a few different tones I'm talking about the grays the blacks and even the navies for the first suit right here this is a navy suit i'm not too sure what company this is but i will recommend you guys a bunch of links so you guys can pick up suits so one of my favorite places to buy suits is at suit supply so super supply is based in dallas but they have a location out here in toronto but this place is really dope because you can pick their fabrics you can buy it off the rack or you can go into more detail with your own personal tailor and, and then they can size it and match it to your body type so they have a various bunch of styles that you guys should check out this isn't a sponsored video but down the road i'll probably do a video with them so this is something you guys can wear at the office after hours this is something you can wear at lunch meetings zoom calls but this is just a clean put together look and you do get a lot of compliments from the females because females love a man in suit so a three-piece suit essentially is three compartments of the suit you got the pants you got the blazer and then you got the vest as well. So I think this is something that everyone should have. It's very clean, it's very precise, it's very boss-like as well. So make sure you have that in your wardrobe. One thing I would swap out with a tie is I'll probably go for a little slimmer tie, but that's personally me. And he does have a little bit of uh, elements to it. He has the cloth and then he has like a button tie. For me, I'll probably go for the clip. I like the clip a lot more. It's a little more cleaner, a little more subtler, but it's all based on preference. So whether Trevor Noah's on a red carpet or at a fashion show or for yourself, you're at a black tie event, different ways you can wear the suit. So it is going to be a little more different for a black tie event or a red carpet event where you can wear something that's a little more flamboyant, but it has to be in the dress code. I have made videos in the past about dress codes that you guys can follow and I'll apply those links down below or I'll apply them up here. So for this one right here at the red carpet event, it's a black tie event, but he's rocking it with a silver. As you guys can see, the lapel is a lot bigger and he has a bow tie. Um, he has a bow tie right here. The lapel is a lot big. He has a nice, nice crisp watch, uh, black pair of pants and then shiny shoes as well. Shiny shoes, <laughs> Oxford shoes. Uh, he has a pair of Oxford shoes and I think this look is phenomenal. I think it looks clean. It's something that I'll definitely rock at a red carpet event or like a Juno's or award ceremony. So that's something that you guys can definitely apply or consider. So for this outfit, he is at a fashion show. And as you guys can see, he's wearing this like blue suede blazer and he has a black pair of pants. And then he has some loafers as well. And I like the loafers. They have a great shine to it, especially when it comes down to photos, as you guys can see. At the same time, he has an Oxford shirt. I like how the Oxford shirt is open collar and around the neck. And then he has a handkerchief on the right hand side or left hand side, depending how you look at it. But it has a great look to it, very simple. Obviously, this has to be complemented with a watch. But for someone who's a little more subtle, this is this is probably a medium or a version. All right, cool. So let's talk about the last segment of this video, and that is business casual. I personally like business casual a lot because you can do a lot with it. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Sometimes you don't even know where the person's going, but you can tell, but they look important. So I'm gonna run for a few examples that you guys take away and apply into your own style. Yet again, I'll provide links down below. So the first look right here, he's wearing a double-breasted blazer, which I really do like because I'm a big fan of corduroy pants. I always wanted them as a kid and I got them as an overalls, but I'm actually gonna explore and find out more options for you guys in the future. 
and then he has some black or brown Chelsea's just to match the corduroys and then as you guys can see with his sweater he has a brown tone earthy looking sweater as well so you can see the unison within colors at the same time the presentation of the open double breasted blazer has a great complement to the whole look whether that's buttoned up or unbuttoned it has a great look overall and as you guys can see this speaks volumes here's another look i here's another look i really so here's another look I really do like, right? So here's another look I like. So here's another look that I really do admire and I enjoy seeing. It's something that is a little bit different than the rest. So here's another look that I really do like. As you get into spring and summer, wearing something that is a little bit light on the fabric, also breathable, but has a elegance of texture to it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's gonna do wonders. You're gonna get a different respect level. People are gonna be reciprocated to you. They're gonna be engaged with you because you just look like a superstar. So for example, right here, probably one of my favorite fits as we go into the spring that anyone can apply and wear into the wardrobe. As you guys can see, he's wearing a short sleeve polo. As you look at the details of the polo, it has a lot of intricacies when it comes down to the design patterns. And this, you can tell this, this is very, very light. So whether you wear like a tank top underneath, you won't feel too hot because you'll be compressed with the tank top, but at the same time, you still, be, you still feel breathable with this on. So he has his buttoned up to the top of the neck, has a great presentation, has a great look to it. And as you look at the pants, he has a white pair of white slacks. As you look at the pants, he has a white pair of slacks and then complemented by these cream socks and then some brown loafers complementing with the watch. So, so there's a level of detail that you have to look at when it comes down to the styling and this is why I really, really enjoy putting things together, finding combinations and textures and quality of different materials and putting garments together to make a unison collaboration. So this is a level of detail that I really do like and this is what I wanna to present to you guys when it does come down to styling. You need an eye for detail because it all matters. So as you guys can see, the flaps of this jacket only goes one way, so it's probably a zip up or a button up underneath, but it has a nice sleek look to it, kind of like hiding the buttons a little bit. It's a little bit different. You don't see people wearing something like this, but it reminds me of the Matrix a little bit. It's cool. I really like it. Um, I don't know what type of pant style he's rocking with this, but as you guys can see, it looks pretty sleek. What I could say we could rock with this is some black slacks or maybe it's like a brown tone, something that's a little standout or maybe a little subtle for Trevor Noah, I'll probably go for a little something a little subtle. And uh, yeah, this is a great look. I like this look a lot, complimenting by the watch. And this has a level of elegance that anyone can rock. For the next photo, he's rocking a green suede jacket. As you guys can see, he has a turtleneck underneath. But let's talk about this jacket. I do like this jacket a lot. I'm not too sure what the company is, but something with this jacket is really elegant and you know what it is, it's the design of it and how it's uh, manufactured and treated. So one thing I do like about this outfit is that the suede jacket has a great presentation to it. And as you can see by the suede jacket, this is something that I like about the level of detail of this type of material. As you guys can see, if you wait, if you actually wipe your hand down that type of jacket, it actually shows an imprint. And that's something that's complemented from the treatment and the manufacturing of the jacket. That's the level of quality you can go for because if you have this, if you have this jacket at a low grade quality, you'll start seeing rips and tears. You'll start seeing deep threading, but something like this is something that you'll take out probably maybe three times a season. Uh, but at the same time, this has a great look to it. This is something that you guys can wear for any business casual setting. If you guys want to be more up and at them or you want to look like you just exited the matrix, definitely throw this on. This is a great look. I like how it complements the long sweater underneath, the long neck sweater on the leaf. It has a great look to it as well. The black pair of pants and the black shoes. Very, very simple very appropriate for someone who looks for a business casual look that doesn't want to step out to more of a street wear but is in a safety area of a casual business look so this is a great example of where you guys can take it you guys can grab this in many different colors i recommend this in a gray an off-white or even a black i think those three colors will look suave as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me breaking down Trevor Noah's style so you guys can imply these practical skills into your own wardrobe and elevate your game to the next level. Yet again, my name is Tulu, your fashion consultant. And if you guys need help, let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and also check out artcore.com so you guys stay informed of the blogs that I'll be putting out every week for you guys. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.